My friend, my friend, Ariana Grande, we can't be friends. Now this one was requested by one of my students. I really dig it. I'm gonna show how to play it at the end with a little bit of capo for those of you who are trying to work on bar chords, but still efficiently still just wanna play this tune. Uh, I can't seem to find a pick, so the heck with it. When we're doing this, uh, what this is is in the key of F major. We're going to have an F major, G minor, A minor, B flat major, C major, D minor. We're going to have like an E diminished, yeah, and then we're going to go right back to our F. So for the song, we just need the one. We're going to need our one with an E underneath the top of it, our four chord, the B flat, and then our C. We're also going to go up to our D minor, which means we're going to experience the minor six of the chord, walking back down to the four, I'm sorry, the five, and then down to the major four. It's all going to sound like this. If you want to just do up and down strokes, one and two and three and four and play it slow with me, we're going to eventually get it from to double that speed. In the beginning, it goes back and forth between the F and the B flat, F and then the C. When it starts the verse, it goes back and forth between the one and the four chord, F. What you're seeing over here is I'm going one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a. I'm kind of going in like a figure eight. After the couple years, I developed a, a technique of just watching and going up and down like that. Really works well for me to keep rhythm. You do you. Just go slow, have fun, then speed it up. So F, B flat. Goes back and forth and does this a couple different times until it eventually goes up to a D minor. You can play it here or right here. D minor to a C major to a B flat. And then it gets a little quieter, dampens down dynamically. Does a quick C to a B flat. And Ariana Grande might not know this, but this is like Mario Brother 3's main music. I think it's when you get the whistle. Anywho, love it. When we going through here, the last time we go through it, we're gonna go back up to that D minor, to a C, to a B flat, and then it's gonna walk in D, F. That's how we play it on this thing. That's pretty much the whole song. At one point, it does go do that D minor twice. D minor, C major, B flat, dugga 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 dugga, D minor, C major, B flat. Boom, dugga, 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 back to the groove. Also great for bass players that work on this. As I said, when we play this with a capo, we can put it right there at the first fret. Now, rather than playing the F, we're going to be playing it right here. The next chord we went to was the B flat, so we're just going to flatten that to make an A. E major was an F, then a B flat, now is an A. E, A. We're going to move that up to a B major right because it's a whole step above and then when we go up here we're still going to be playing up so we have this to this and then here it's still going to have the same feeling but we're not going to have the same chords back to that cool that's the only thing we're doing with the capo it just changes so you don't have to play that bar chord play the b flat move your c and then play your d same thing anywho i hope you had a great time today i hope this works out for you from a student uh that it goes through the process of seeing how bar chords can be utilized through capos they're essentially made so we don't have to stress out about getting better at the bar chords right away anywho great job today everyone else we will see you on the flip side